Hello and welcome to another fashion mistakes video, except this one is gonna be fashion mistakes you might be making in the summer months, which is coming up, or in the hot weather months. I have my Elton John top on. I'm going to see Elton John later this year. And I think this might be the top because it's very Elton-ish. In any case, it has nothing to do with this video. Although you might think this is a fashion mistake, um, I tend to like it. I will also share with you how I'm redesigning my living room space with the help of an interior design course on Skillshare, who is our sponsor today. I'm so excited to tell you about them because I love Skillshare. I will talk about them just more in a minute. But first, let's get to the first style fashion mistake, which isn't even really a style mistake. More so, it might be a little bit of a rut that you might get into as I get into to during the summer months. So this is kind of a tip. So if you get stuck wearing jeans or denim shorts and a tank top 24 seven, which is great if you're going to do something really casual, like you're going to the beach or you're going to a beach bar or you're going grocery shopping or just something really casual. But if you need to look a little bit nicer or you gotta go to something where you need to look a little bit more put together, but it's still burning up hot, here are a few ideas. Instead of just a tank top and denim shorts and probably flip flops, try putting a third layer over it, like a cotton or linen button up, just kind of layer it over with a natural fiber button up that shouldn't be too hot or heavy. Another option is to trade out that tank top for something with a little more fabric, like put a button up with it or just something a little bit nicer. And so it balances out those denim shorts and it makes it look a little bit more like an outfit rather than you just threw on something. I love button downs and denim shorts. I feel like it's just an easy outfit, but it still looks a little bit put together. Another option is to keep the tank top, but trade out those denim shorts for some non-denim pants. Like, I mean, or they could be denim if up to you if you're not gonna be too hot, but something that's either like beach pants, something super flowy or linen, just something that gives you a little bit more balance. Now there are times in the summertime, especially in July, where I am just gonna be so hot in everything and I wanna wear a tank top and shorts. So for this outfit, I would trade out the denim shorts for some linen shorts or something that's lightweight and more breathable. Make sure the tank top is something that looks a little bit nicer. Maybe it's ribbed, you know, maybe it's a nice color, just something that looks a little bit more elevated than just your basic, basic tank top. And and then on top of that, I would accessorize. I'd have a nice pair of sunglasses, some jewelry, maybe some bracelets, you know, a ring or something. Even this tank top that I've used as my example looks much more elevated by just adding a few simple accessories. Now, if none of these sound good to you and you're just like, I'm going to a wedding and I'm gonna wear a tank top and denim shorts and I don't care what you say, Anna, you know what, you do you. This is just food for thought. It's just something to think about when you're getting dressed. It does not resonate with you, then don't drink the Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's continue. So I want to now share more with you about Skillshare and how I am working on recreating my living room space with the help of the interior design courses I have found on Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes from creative writing to personal growth to taking better iPhone photos to the art of feng shui and so much more. What I love most about Skillshare is that the classes are organized into bite-sized sections so you're able to learn these new skills in only about an hour or so of your time. In Interior Design Basics with Lauren Cox, I've learned which colors will work better for me and my aesthetic in my living room and how to create more balance in my particular space. It's actually been a very relaxing practice for me to just spend a little bit of time every day on this course and really think about how I want to incorporate it into my life. Some courses I plan on taking next include Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit in Space, I'm so excited about that one, and Holistic Interior Design, Transform Your Personal Space and Well-Being. The first 1,000 people to use the link or my code Anna Reed will get one month free trial of Skillshare. I really think you'll be impressed with the vast amount of inspiring classes that you can take from your own home or your iPhone or your computer in such a short time. Another style mistake or just really something to think about when you are putting your complete outfit together in the summertime is to really look at how your shoes pair back with your outfit. So here is my what not to wear outfit. And the reason why I'm not crazy about this combo is because it's very light up top and the thick black sandals kind of chop me off at my ankles, making me look a little bit stumpy. So there are a few things we can do to improve this look. First, I can exchange those heavy black sandals for the nude or brown ones, which immediately soften this look. If I wanted to wear these black sandals, I like them paired back with something else black or dark in my outfit, so there isn't much stark contrast on my feet. 
I would actually prefer a black tank top for this look, but I don't have one at the moment. Another style mistake women will make during the summertime, and I don't think they realize they're doing it and that they would feel so much better if they didn't do this, but they wear body hugging clothing. And I think they wear little clothing thinking it's little clothing, a little bit of fabric, it's gonna make me feel cooler and you know, cause less fabric. But really though, it just sticks to your body, kind of creating a little bit of a furnace. <laughs> and um, yeah, it just makes you a lot hotter and sweatier. In any case, a looser fit piece of clothing is going to make you feel better when it's really hot and humid than something that's really tight and sticking to your body. The next style mistake is heavy makeup. Heavy makeup in the summertime is, I mean, I, it just makes me hot just thinking about it. When the sun is beating down and it's humid and it's hot, it just, your, your makeup routine and even your skincare routine needs to be looked at before you go into these months. Less is definitely more in these months. I have a foundation that I love. It's like a kind of very light and kind of sheer that I love to wear in the summertime. I will link it below. Check that out if you're looking for more of a sheer foundation. Another style mistake or fashion mistake that man I have made and I don't really make it anymore because I don't do this so much anymore um, but it's a really bad fake tan I know I sound like a mean girl right now and I'm not trying to sound like that but if you've ever seen a girl walking around and she's got like you know she's tan front of the side of her body and then there's like fingerprints on the her calves or something I don't really think it's giving off the look that she was really going for you know what I'm saying if you're going to do fake tanning make sure you're completely covered make sure it's one that doesn't smell like rotten apples <laughs> um, and you know make sure it's one that does look a little bit natural this next style mistake I know some of you guys are going to not like me for and I'm just gonna say it, but again, this is my opinion, um, and it's lots of people's opinion actually. If you don't like it, or if you don't agree, totally fine, of course, do whatever you wanna do, but the capri pants are a very hard look for most people to pull off. Now again, if you were at the beach, this is a really great pant. Capris at the beach are wonderful. You can walk in the water, you know, you're not gonna have your pants dragging or anything like that. They are really great for those specific scenarios. But for the most part, a capri pant or those really cropped pants, they basically cut you off at the largest part of your calf. It's like right there in the center. It's not a very flattering look. There are just other looks that could probably look a lot better, have the much better effect and be just as comfortable. I feel like the ankle length pants are much more flattering as they don't tend to give us such a chopped up appearance. This is more of a spring style mistake, but I'm gonna mention it because, um, you know, people do comment this. People have commented this on my TikTok channel and so I'm gonna address it. But a lot of women have commented, I can't wear white jeans because you can see straight through them, you can see my underwear, you see my panty lines, or you know, it just does not work for my body. So if you're gonna wear white denim, a lot of women cannot wear that stretchy, white, jegging type material. It just usually does not work for almost all of us. I don't really even know anybody it does work for. Um, there's gotta be somebody, but <laughs> for the most part, if you're gonna wear white denim, it needs to be an actual denim. Like the majority of it needs to be made with cotton. And it's okay if it's blended with some other things, but it really needs to be that heavier denim fabric so that you can't see through it. You don't see underwear shining through or anything like that. This next fashion mistake is more of a PSA, a public service announcement to you, and that is to wear sunscreen every day, even if you're gonna be inside all day. So what I have learned is that you really need to put sunscreen on every day on your face before you put your makeup on and even like on your eyes and stuff because that can also get sun, it can get sunburned and sun damage that you really can't reverse. So enough of that, use sunscreen. I'll link some of my favorites below. Let's move on. This next tip is one that's an every fashion tip video out there, but it needs to be said because it's super important during the summer months. And that is, let me hear it. You can go ahead and say it, just say it. Accessorizing in the summer months when we can't really wear a lot of clothing, we can't layer, we can't wear a scarf. Oh, it makes me think so hot just thinking about it. Accessorizing is the thing that brings our outfit together or makes that really simple outfit of probably a lot of basics look a lot more put together. Add a necklace, add some bracelets or a watch, some sunglasses. If hat's your thing, this is a great time to put them on. Your accessories can really make a basic outfit look so put together and polished and expensive and chic and all those words that you definitely want at certain times during the summertime. You can do it with 
accessorizing. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I will link everything down below for you to get a free month at Skillshare. I will link the course I'm taking down below if you're interested in that as well. And um, let me know what you think about the side part. Um, I don't know if I should bring it back. I think it might be too soon. I'm not sure I'm really into it, but you know, I'm always welcome some opinions.